Hey guys, Dead Attics here, and I'm ill, but I'm going to make a video anyway. So I thought, guys, we could do today my top five YouTubers. These are the YouTubers that I uh, watch the most, or I value the highest, or fucking speakers of death. And they are gone. Like a magical pony. So anyway guys, uh, so for my first YouTuber, it's at number five, Jacksepticeye, Jackaboy. This was an unwise decision. But anyway guys, if you don't know who Jacksepticeye is, then what hope is there for humanity anymore? So guys, Jacksepticeye, he is a Irish YouTuber, uh, he has grown exponentially over the years due to his funny, quirky and loud style. Uh, he's very energetic, uh, to the point of insanity, and uh, yeah, he doesn't really rely on crass humour um, as much as other YouTubers of his kind, uh, because he just kind of relies on his natural uh, sorry, phone. Uh, stop, stop, stop talking to me. His natural niceness, friendliness, and generally funniness. C comedic, comedic ability. His, his ability to be comedic. My, my apologies that my vernacular is not up to its usual standard. I'm ill. <laughs> okay guys, anyway, so that was a bit weird. But anyway, so, at number four, it's... Peanut Butter Gamer. PBG. Estes, 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 it. It's... it's... One of his... So his style of comedy is quite rambling, uh, like mine, some might say. Some might also say that I'm the greatest YouTuber of all time. Yeah, so his style is very much sort of taking a lighter side of comedy. I have never really heard him swear, or say anything that's genuinely a joke. But that's what I love about it, because he's very sort of individual, he's very different from other YouTubers. Uh, you know, sort of, I try to be fairly different from other YouTubers, but I'm sorry for my voice, by the way, I can't do today. And, you know, I'm dosed up on, like, paracetamol and ibuprofen, not, but uh, uh, why am I talking about this? They don't care. I especially enjoy his playthrough of things like um, Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, Mario Galaxy 1, Mario Galaxy 2. Notice me, Senpai Mario. Then, at number 3 and 2, because I tried really hard to order these guys, but I actually couldn't. Uh, so, it's... Monty Python's Flying Circus. Dan is not on fire, an amazing Phil. Wow, well done on the not getting too excited. Me. Not not you guys. You guys are probably, like, bored. But whatever. So, if you don't know about these guys, they are fellow British YouTubers. Uh, a hell of a lot bigger than me in every respect. Height. Popularity. Coolness. But yeah, so basically their entire style is built off of being quirky, and I really like that way of being. My voice is dying. I now sound like Yzma from Emperor's New Groove. It's great. I watched that film as a kid, and never did I, in all of my wildest dreams, think that I would become her one day. It's great. I really like their quirky and, on Phil's part, non-offensive, on Dan's part, quite offensive style of comedy because with YouTubers I don't like it sort of when they try too hard and I feel like Dan and Phil sort of have that down to a T 
Uh, like, they have a persona that they use for their uh, YouTube, which all of us do, frankly. I mean, I act far more happy and carefree than I am in real life when I'm really a sarcastic scheming, but I uh, am more articulate in real life. So if you ever... I don't know what I was going to say, really. Uh, this is really backing up my point well, and now I'm going to keep rambling forever, uh, using pompous and preposterous sort of words to sort of prittle prattle along my way, while I can uh, verbicate to you uh, my ways of thought. I need some jump in fire. Yeah. But watching my YouTube videos back, I do come across as slightly less sort of articulate and slightly less intellectual uh, than I do when I actually meet people in real life, uh, because I feel like there's not really the necessity to uh, sort of present myself as such, because at the end of the day, nobody cares. You know, they don't want a lesson, so I just look happy, smile, it's great. Yeah, so those mix of things in there, a uh, slightly different take on YouTube, for instance, they have many channels, or many segments of their channel, which is, uh, separately, they have Amazing Phil and Danny's Not On Fire, uh, then they have Danny's On Fire and Not So Amazing Phil, then they have Dan and Phil uh, Cooking, then they have Dan and Phil Crafts, then they have Dan and Phil Gaming, so yeah, they have pretty good market penetration, and I think it works really well for them because it means that many different people with many different interests can watch their videos and still be entertained. But it's it's a good it's a good way of doing it. You know, I, I envy them a lot all the time when I look at my subscribers. But anyway, finally we reach number one, and number one is Markiplier, Marky Moo. King of the Squirrels! So, Markiplier is my all-time favourite big YouTuber, and I will tell you why. Uh, as well as his huge library of playthroughs, he has done thousands, and he has got millions of subscribers for it, and I, I couldn't be more pleased. I have been watching his videos since he was at, at about 3 million. Uh, he's now at 13 million subscribers, so that is amazing. I, you know, egg him on to become the next PewDiePie, except please not. Yeah, so he was one of the main YouTubers that actually inspired me to uh, start YouTube myself. So blame him. Uh, and he is one of my main role models for YouTube. He is uh, what I aspire to be through uh, my comedy and through my relations with you guys because I want to start building a relationship with uh, you guys because I'm starting to get more subscribers and it's one of those things that I want to start building a relationship with you. Um, but anyway, yeah, a relationship. Let's uh, go and get dinner and some fine wines. And, mm. That was perhaps one of the creepiest things I've ever done. But anyway, so his range of characters, it spans from Winston Wa- I am Wastash. Basically, that was really bad. I can't believe how bad- I usually do it pretty well, but didn't there. Uh, oh well. Wolfstash started out as a journalist, and over time became a mass murderer. Um, who kills every single person that he interviews, so that's great, except Slenderman. Didn't kill him, because there's more games since then, so... Yes. Um, two such characters as Tiny Box Tim, who was just a tiny box in, in a game. Yeah, and he became a massive feature of the channel for quite a few years. Uh, he also created people like Bubblebutt, which is a robot in a game that never spoke, but he gave it an entire personality, and that's what I admire about him. His ability to almost... it's... what is it? Sentience? How do you put that into a different form? I mean, it's not anthropomorphized, because it's not uh, animalistic, it's not atavistic, it's something. Anyway, so his ability to basically infer a personality on, upon a stationary object. Uh, it's, it's amazing, and I really do envy him for it. Um, but as well as that, I really support what he does, because 
he gives so much of his time to charitable causes. He does so many live streams, especially to raise money for different charities, and I think that's amazing. Uh, so if you haven't come across him, please check his channel out, and his charity is Markiplier Heroes. Uh, I, I promise I am not sponsored or endorsed to say this, I, I just wanted to, because you know what, he gives to some damn good causes. So if you ever feel like giving money, that's quite a good way to go, and you can get a t-shirt too, so win-win. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed my top 5 YouTubers, and if you did, then that that, 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 that's your lucky day, that's lucky, well done you. Um, <laughs> so, if you enjoyed it, please do leave a like and a comment telling me what I did well, or equally, a thumbs down and a comment telling me what I did wrong and what you would like to see in the next video. Uh, and if you would like to see more of my stuff, please do consider subscribing, guys, because, you know, my videos aren't usually this rambling, I'm told I'm fairly funny, and, yeah, just, just watch, because why not? What else are you gonna do? Life is a waste. Society is nothing. By the way, ugly is not a viable comment. I, I can't undo ugly. I can't. I, I'm sorry. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see everybody in the next video, so bye! Bye, need to come up with a new outro. Bye, bye, this American bye. No, probably not that. But anyway, uh, I'll turn it off.